Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 750 points. NASDAQ up 353. S&P's up 102. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ of 3.1%. Inside the S&P, 28 And the Dow Industrials, 2.4. Gold. Gold still didn't catch a bid. Bottom line, gold flat, 17.10 an ounce. Silver also flat, 18.65 an ounce. Light sweet. Excuse me, folks. Light sweet crude up at buck forty-five, one oh four oh five in notes and bonds. Yeah, the ten-year note. There we go. Ten-year note trading down sixteen ticks at one seventeen thirty. The thirty-year down twenty-two at one thirty-eight eighteen, and the ten-year still at three percent, three point zero one seven. King dollar, king dollar down six hundred and thirty-five ticks trading at one oh six seven thirty-one. The euro is at one oh two. The yen is trading out here at 138. The British pound's at 119 to 1 the US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the SPY. What you have out here, folks, you're right into the swing. Bottom line, the SPY still needs more volume, but this is going to go, man. Uh, 71 million shares. One of the swings said 73. So the swing that it took it out, you're going to have the volume. That had to, <laughs> it's going to get it. I mean, because the bottom line, volume keeps coming in this room. You get another 14 minutes. So we're gonna have the volume. We took the swing out with volume. That's telling me that you're gonna go after the swing that's established at 393, where I suspect you're gonna probably have it. Well, picture this. Well, yeah, let's go to the Qs for a second. Here we go, take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. What you also have there, the three Qs put, took out both swings, okay? Bottom line, you needed uh, 54 million shares. You got 51.6 right now. So the Qs are also going to have the volume. That's saying that the next stop up here is going to be this 314. Now, that being said, what I expect you're actually going to have out here, folks. So picture, we, I talk about energy a lot, right? Energy on the way up, energy on the way down. Normally, what would happen on a day like for tomorrow, for a day like today, when so much energy has been taken out of the marketplace, that would go sideways. My take is it's not going to go sideways. Why? Because what happens is that we came down so many times. And as we accelerated up, the way the market's set up, you have those two swings. It wants to jump the creek, man. It's going to jump the creek and blow some mines. And that's where I, I think we're going. And I think you're going to wake up tomorrow morning. These S&Ps are going to probably be up another 35 or 40 points. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> Folks, have a great night, safe night. Thanks so much for joining me. Join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 in the morning. Great show. Wham! We'll get him, folks.